this is what uh this is what i've done today i spilled my lunch on my pants as you can see that's the dog and now she's gonna eat carrots off of my dirty pant leg <laughs> <laughs> what a weird day. Every day is a weird day when you can't go anywhere. And there's another carrot. My little vegetarian dog. That carrot is for me. You want another one? You full? Look at that face. Hey, look up here. Say hello. Hello! No? Alright, last one. I don't know why she always has to eat off my leg, but there you go. She does. I haven't done anything today. During the uh, pandemic, I worked the whole time, so I didn't have this uh, stay-at-home thing like everyone else. I guess this is my stay at home time. Oh, she's finished. She's leapt off. All right, now we're done. Are you a bunny today? You want another one? All right. Hang on, I gotta make it smaller. Your mouth is too small. There you go. Her name is Pond. And she's named after Amelia Pond from Doctor Who. So that uh, when we go on walks, I can say, come along, pond. <laughs> Just like Doctor Who. I will always be 12 years old. I think. Mm, not always. Well, part of me will. That's it. I watched a lot of this today. We're finished. That's enough carrots. And your little tummy will explode. Say goodbye. Say goodbye, Pond. Oh, here comes the cat. No, the cat's not coming in. Okay, this is pointless yet again. Goodbye. Have a nice day. I hope you have a nice day. And, um... Uh, um... I have no parting words of wisdom today at all. I do not feel wise. I feel very tired today. Pond, do you have any parting words of wisdom? <laughs> no. I think I will spend the rest of my time awake playing video games because that is one of my true loves in life, is playing video games. Yeah, I don't know what happened to me. Part of me never grew up. That's okay. I can live with that. Oh, there he is. Hello? Hello? Will you say hello? His name is Mr. Cat. He didn't want a name, so he's just called Cat. Hmm. That's my nice hippie bag that I carry all my stuff in with my crutches. My crutches are held up by the spokes of my bike. I took the wheel off and that's its purpose now. Isn't that sad? I went from doing uh, between 75 and 90 miles a week, biking and running and walking mm. to zero. And my brain and body cannot comprehend this. It is incomprehensible. That's a good word, isn't it? Incomprehensible. Mm, I was trying to think of another story today. Uh, I could tell the story. I have <laughs> a younger brother and he's my best friend. And so we always played in our back garden together. And we're Italian, so we're very hairy. Little ape children, if you know any small Italian children. We're just hairy people. So uh, we're playing in the back garden, playing football. 
and all of a sudden he says, oh, I have to go. And he did this a lot. He would just, like, we'd be playing, and then something would pop into his head, and he'd be gone. But he usually would come back, but this time he didn't come back, and he didn't come back. And so I went in the house, and we had uh, two bathrooms. It was a very fancy house in Wimbledon. So we had two... I think we had three bathrooms in that house. It was a big house. Anyway, so he's in that, the bathroom with the bathtub. And he's got his leg propped up on the edge of the bath. <laughs> and he's shaving his leg <laughs> with our mother's razor. And he's got like a can of shave cream on his leg. <laughs> I said, Tommy, what are you doing? He said, well, I have to shave my legs. My hair on my legs is so long, it's making my jeans poof out. <laughs> he said that his leg hair was too bushy. <laughs> so funny. Oh, and he's a genius. But he does weird shit like that all the time. <laughs> it just kills me every time I think of it. Him and his bushy jeans. Yeah. It took forever to clean up all that shave cream. Because he had it everywhere. It was like a mountain of shave cream in that bathroom. That's the view out my front door, by the way. Uh, where I live, my front of my house is a parking lot for a restaurant. <laughs> it's such a weird fucking life. <laughs> but I like my little cottage nestled back here. No one knows I'm back here, so it's good. It is a weird fucking life. I've lived all over the place and done all sorts of things. And now, at this age, now I have a messed up foot, which just seems surreal or unreal or not real. I don't know. It's not real. Some days it doesn't feel like it happened. I mean, of course it did happen. It's just such a strange thing. My life is very much the same every day, same every day, same every day. It's a very routine life. That's sort of how I operate. And this is now a new routine. It takes a while to adjust. It's all right. I'm gonna try and write tomorrow. I have most of one story written and the story is and nobody steal it the story is about angels and you know the aurora borealis the story is that when people pray and the angels hear them they flap their wings and it makes the aurora borealis light up the sky and that's the entrance way where the angels can fly down to help the people who need help and it's mostly written, but I stopped writing it because I got really sad. So, yeah, I'm not sad anymore. I'm actually very happy. So it's good. I'll finish it. It'll be nice. I'll read it. I'll put it on here. And then tomorrow I am going to do one of the yoga chants. I figured out today which one to do. And I also do um, reflexology, which is healing through moving the energy around in people's feet. It's like a massage healing sort of thing. Sort of, there's more to it. And then also Reiki, which is mm, energy moving through the body to do healings on people. So, I'll explain that sort of thing. I do all sorts of things like that, actually. 
my family's always telling me, you gotta tell people about this shit that you do. <laughs> I guess I should. I haven't got anything else to do. I usually am very quiet about it all, though. And don't tell anybody. But, what have I got to lose, right? I'll just put myself out there. Shine my little light. Someone will see that light. And the lights will match and it'll be good okay i'm going still babbling oh my god 10 minutes of pointless babble today i'm very sorry it's long bye Annyeong. have a really nice day bye bye